But the only thing that Woody wanted to know was he wanted to know your first impressions of him when y'all first met. Then I arrive and I'm waiting for Kelly. Right now, if the time is like 12 20 a.m., I might go to a pants place and maybe take a shower and sleep. That's all. I don't think I can even meet their parents because they it's kind of late. So I will meet them and I will say goodbye. I mean, I will say hello to them <laughs> tomorrow. He didn't see? Oh. No. Oh. I had the hug. <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Get in. I'm sorry I'm late. Don't be so late. It's so dark out in the country. You're out in the south now. It's so dark. Thank you for driving, baby. You're welcome. So big. <laughs> yeah. You're so sexy that you drive. <laughs> big truck. The next day. Hi, guys. So now I'm in the motel room. In Texas. So I arrived last night. Like 12.30 a.m. I couldn't even meet Kelly's parents because she was too late and Kelly's dad he went to work this morning and her mom stayed at home so I met her and say hi and I helped her pack Christmas stuff away since they are done for the year before I came to Texas I got two COVID tests which are the antigen and saliva test I came here because I got a negative test from the antigen. But when I was helping Kelly's mom pack, I got a past result from the saliva test. I was not sure which result I should believe, but I wanted to be careful just in case. So I stopped helping her, went upstairs, and I told Kelly that I would stay in a motel. Kelly's parents didn't want me to leave but I couldn't put them in a dangerous situation. <laughs> and um, so basically, I don't know what to do. So yeah, I will keep you updated, guys. Thank you for listening. Yeah, that was really this sad. Is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, all the, the trouble in town. You know, yeah. it just exactly looked like the motel from the movie. So I <laughs> it actually does. It really does. Scary. So if you come inside, you see the door and I see the sofa. So this is a bed. This is a bathroom. At least it looks clean. And it's I've so sticky. It's sticky. Can you hear that? That's not good. No. <laughs> a few moments later. Thank you, baby. Love you. Bye bye. Hey guys, so Woody's at the motel right now, and he just, one of his tests is negative, and we know that the saliva test isn't 100% accurate. 
So we asked him to stay here with us, but he refused. He went to the motel for my family's safety, and I really appreciate that. It's just, I'm really sad. We had so many things planned um, in Texas to do, but now we can't do any of them because we're like six minutes away from each other, but we can't be together. And I, when I found out, I was in just such a state of panic that I was crying. When I hugged my mom and told her, I feel so bad that he's alone in the motel room while we're here. <laughs> but I'm at least glad that I can go see him whenever I drive to bring him, you know, food that my mom makes or anything that he needs. The next day. Ah, I love you. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Bye, bye Texas. Is that the next day? So, last day So, mm -hmm. this is last day. And I'm gonna check out. And I'll just go to the airport. So, okay. Bye. So, I'm in the airport. I got a ticket. Since I couldn't get a COVID PCR test in Texas due to fully booked appointments, right after I came back to Chicago, I took the PCR test, which is the most accurate test I can do. I'm checking the test now. Oh wait, I got negative. I didn't need to stay the motel for three days and come back to Chicago. <laughs> now I miss Kelly so much. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and like and comment. <laughs> Bye. That was so sad. I know. I barely got to see him. But the only thing that Woody wanted to know was he wanted to know your first impressions of him when y'all first met. Huh? That is awesome. And you have good taste. So I knew you'd be a great person. Yeah. And I really like funny people. Mm -hmm. And he's very funny. He's good at like, he's he good at conversation. Personality. Yeah, he's good at conversation. He's good at being funny, making jokes, making people comfortable. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not a Me either. <laughs> people person. Me either. <laughs> Unless I've been around a person for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And Woody says that he's a shy person, but really he's really good at conversation with yeah. anyone. And that's why he's so good at working at the bar. <laughs> so, but anyways, thank you guys. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. Bye.